Hi, and welcome to the next video about excellence in evaporation. Today we will show you how you can modify a rotary evaporator system to process unlimited volumes unattended even overnight or over the weekend. Today we will focus on the liquid management around the process and will tell you how you can redefine the limits of it. The new High Volume Dystematic Pro is a unique automation tool to fully automate the liquid management in the rotary evaporation process. In a usual batch process, we can fill the evaporation flask by a maximum of around about 50%. So it means we could process 500 milliliter with a one liter flask in one run. As the Dystematic Pro can automatically refill this flask and can empty the distal solvents as well as the residue in the evaporation flask, it can modify a rotary evaporator to a 24-7 solvent recovery station. My colleague Jakob will explain the function principle for you in detail. Thanks Jürgen. In our example we will separate ethanol from a botanical extracted oil. There is an initial filling at the beginning of the process and seconds later the evaporation takes place and the first solvents get collected inside the receiving vessel. This vessel is equipped with a capacitive sensor to detect the filling status. As soon as the vessel is completely filled, the Dystematic Pro separates the vessel from the rest of the system. So the evaporation itself is not interrupted, but the system can aerate the vessel and will afterwards increase the pressure inside of only this component to push the collected solvent out into a collection vessel or can. For the most applications, the amount of solvent is significantly higher as the amount of residue this is why this step will be repeated several times. In this period, the concentration of our residue constantly increases inside of the receiving flask. After a while, the sensor detects a constant filling level, which means a mainly pure residue inside of my evaporation flask and will then do the same job as with the collecting vessel, but the other way around. The system creates an overpressure inside of the glassware, but without the collection vessel and will push out the residue into another collection can. Afterwards, the system will refill the evaporation flask with fresh mixture and will start the entire process again until the mixture vessel is completely processed and the liquids separated. So you see, the big benefit is there is no manual interaction necessary to process even several liters of mixtures. Moreover, the working principle allows the, uh, to feed only small volumes of mixture in a high frequency into a stable condition of vacuum and heating. With that, you can run the evaporation always at the most efficient filling level, but you can avoid foaming or bumping, which uh, usually would occur several times during a bath process by reducing the vacuum. Thank you, Jakob. Also important to know, all process data can be recorded and saved, and all materials which are in active and passive contact with the media are FDA conformed. Moreover, the entire system is made and certified for continuous unattended operation, and by using overpressure instead of a pump, we avoid a potential contamination risk coming from, for example, a pump head. Moreover, several safety features are included so that the entire system will stop the process as soon as any malfunction or critical process situation is detected, whether from the Dystematic Pro or from the high evaporator. It will also stop the process automatically as soon as the entire mixture is processed. But the Dystematic Pro is not only available for benchtop application, but also for large-scale evaporators. This combination allows to evaporate more volume at the same time. As an example, with this setup, you can process up to 1000 liter of hexane a day. So you saw the Dystematic Pro full potential of a high-quality rotary evaporator. It can also create new possibilities regarding the solvent recovery. There are already dozens of examples that show how an automatic module can significantly improve common work steps in the laboratory. For example, by going away from the batch process, you can start to collect similar samples to process and evaporate them overnight. It is also a door opener to stop the disposal of used solvents and start to recycle it for reuse. This is a big step into a more sustainable workflow and have a huge potential to decrease the overall costs of disposal of used solvents and the cost of purchasing new solvents. In light of steady increasing costs for solvents, this argument becomes more and more important. If you want to learn more about it, our application specialists are happy to evaluate your individual optimization potential with you. Please also visit our website where you can find some real-life examples in our knowledge blog. Thanks for watching.